Hi, my name is Kat Kerr, and today I'm going to share some stencil love. Now, I love using a wide range of stencils, but one of the things I love most of all is using one stencil multiple times in a journal page. This helps to promote continuity, dimension, and an aesthetically pleasing layout. So today I'm going to share with you how I made this one journal page using one stencil multiple times. Now today I'm using my flock six by six stencil. Now, whenever I'm creating an abstract looking journal page, I always start with the color black and I just add some marks using acrylic paint or a pencil or any kind of doodles. But today I'm going to use my stencil and I'm going to just add some of that design using the black acrylic paint and a cosmetic sponge. Now, this being the first layer, you're most likely not going to see this once the page is finished, but I like starting off with black just because it gives my eye direction and it guides me to where I want to add my next layers. Next, I add some color and I'm starting off with some cool blues. Now, I'm not looking to cover the entire page. I still want some of that black to show through. Now I love using a limited palette and mixing in titanium white. Now here I mixed in some of that white and I'm using that stencil again and cosmetic sponge. Now once that first layer is completely dry, I go in with some warmer colors. I also love using an assortment of brushes. This really adds interest and texture to the page. Here I'm using that stencil again and one of the colors in this layer. I just keep adding acrylic paint until I'm happy with the composition. Next, I'm using a permanent marker to go over some of the designs to help them pop. I also do some mark making and then next I use a white Sharpie to also highlight some of the areas. Now I'm starting to think about my focal and I decided I wanted to add some more birds, but I really needed them to pop. And so I stenciled onto a piece of white cardstock and I did this instead of stenciling directly onto the page because I really wanted a crisp image and I wanted those numbers to really pop. Then I picked out a magazine image, adhered all of my elements and finished with a white Sharpie. Now, what I love about this journal page is that it is a little chaotic, but what brings it all together is the repetition of the pattern, and that is the stencil. And you can really see it in all of the layers, and it really brings it all together. I love the way it came out. Now, on any given day, I can use up to 10 stencils in one journal page, but there's definitely value in just using one. For a wonderful selection of stencils, make sure you check out stencilgirlproducts.com. Thanks for joining me.